Hey everybody! How's it going? Cool. So, um, yeah, a lot of people are asking me about the post that I had a few, I guess, last week asking for prayer because we were going to go do some ministering in the night um, and then I posted saying thank you for your prayers because it was awesome so a lot of people asking like what happened what went on what were you doing um, so I was waiting to like make a video so I could proper explain what we did um, and what happened and everything so basically uh, one of my really good friends who uh, I go to church with here um, well actually two good friends they're both in um, well, they just finished but they were in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on the West End and one of them every night she would walk home in um, you know central London she'd walk past this um, strip club basically uh, called the Red Room oh, so original and she would walk by and she would see the girls they'd be out in this little like alcove area next to the place they'd all have like these red coats on um, you know they were taking their smoking break basically and she always would tell herself like oh, I just want to go talk to them and and just yeah just love on them but she's like saying how, you know, if I maybe had at least one other person, um, might be a little bit safer and da da da. So, um, me and my friend Arena were like, we'll go with you, like totally, let's do this. Um, ended up, there, there was five of us, and so we did have one guy in the group. And um, so we were just gonna go and, and try to talk to these girls and, and witness to them. And um, so we met up beforehand, uh, and it's, I mean, it's around like 11 o'clock in the evening. By this point, we met up at a little cafe to just pray and kind of talk about like, how's this going to go down? So we're sitting at the table and we're like, okay, so, so-and-so, you're going to come around the corner. The other person's going to guard the bouncers. And then, Christina, you're just going to fly in from up top and do a Mission Impossible. And there we go. Um, so we felt like we were totally like secret agents or whatever. Um, decided, you know, obviously having five people bombard these girls to talk to them about Jesus, not probably the best tactic. So um, we were like, you know, how about two people go talk to them? The other three, you know, kind of stay behind, make sure they can't tell, you know, we're together or whatever, and um, just stand on the other side of the street, just kind of keeping an eye on things and just praying, just covering them in prayer through the whole thing. Um, so Liz and Arena are, um, were our people that we're going to go talk to them because Arena has done this before. She has um, a project called the Natasha's Project, which is focusing on like sex trafficking. And so she's been out on the streets before, like talking to the prostitutes and, and stuff like that. So, um, and then Liz, she's the one that came up with this whole idea. So we're like, you two go and then the three of us will hold behind and, and just you know be praying the whole time and kind of keeping an eye on things um, so we start going and um, we get there and you know before we got there because like the sex trafficking industry like a lot of people may not realize that like even just strip clubs like that in a big city like this it is so controlling and just once you're in you're in like you can't get out you cannot you know leave and um, all this kind of stuff so um, yeah so if they saw us all together if they saw us standing across the street and like knew we were together it could just hinder what we were trying to do they would think that you know we were like police or whatever so um, I'm sorry if you're hearing my Spotify commercials on my phone. Um, so, yeah, so it's kind of dangerous, but, um, you know, with God, we're protected. We're going to be all right. Um, and if nobody's going into this and doing this, then, you know, like, this is our calling. This is our lives, is, is to be Jesus to the world. So, um, yeah, so we, we before we even get there, we, we kind of split. And so we're separated and everything. And I have like my notebook out and um, to and my backpack on to kind of look like students or whatever. And um, so we're just standing kind of on the other side, just you know, just chilling, um, <laughs> staying in front of a really nice hotel. So it definitely didn't look like we were staying there or anything, but because um, the way we were dressed. But anyways, so we're keeping an eye on things. And sure enough, there are three bouncers outside the door, um, which is more than 
we expected. We just kind of expected one, I guess. Um, the girls are in the, their little alcove smoking, and, and Liz and Arena are just kind of standing there, just kind of chilling. <laughs> and um, uh, because of, like, of all the bouncers that were around, Liz was like, this is why we needed a distraction plan. <laughs> um, so they're just kind of standing there, and Liz just goes for it. She just goes up to the main, you know, one of the bouncers and is like, hi, my name's Liz. And she's from Liverpool. And the Liverpool accent sounds very similar to an Irish accent. Um, which is, so she's just like this bubbly personality with this awesome accent. And um, she's just, you know, chatting to them in there. One of the guys is, you know, and that kind of gave an opportunity for Ren to like talk to the girls and be like, Look at her, she just left her bag here, and you know, and then she was like, oh, I really like what you did with your hair, like, how did you do that? And come to find out, you know, um, most of the girls are from Romania, and um, she was like, You know, oh, what brought you to London? And they're like, Well, this is where all the money is at. Um, so that was kind of the standpoint they were at. They weren't really much up for talking, but um, the bouncers, you know, were all for it, and um, they asked Liz, they were like, So, what do you guys? What are you doing here exactly? Because uh, clearly they weren't planning on going inside. <laughs> and um, Liz just goes, I'm here to talk to you about Jesus. And she said it was like a bullet hit him in the chest. He just was like, <laughs> What? <laughs> um, and just kind of laughed at her in a way. Um, so at this point, there's just these two bouncers. One is kind of this smaller guy that you know she said that to. And, the other one is this like big bald guy that you know looks like a bouncer, and he's being kind of more quiet the whole time, not really saying much, but clearly listening in. And um, so Liz just dives in, and she's just talking and sharing, and and um, this guy is just not a Christian at all, like just not going for it. Just thinks she is crazy, thinks she's on something, you know, but is laughing at the same time, like. Um, so, you know, they didn't, weren't saying, like, you guys need to leave or whatever. They were just having a good time, kind of laughing at Liz. <laughs> um, so then, before, like, it got to the point where Liz had, like, her foot in the door. At one point, we thought she went inside, and we were like, Lord, give her wisdom, give her wisdom. <laughs> like, she was just all in it. And, um, so, yeah, um, and it was so hard, though, because we're standing back watching, and we saw a couple, like, I don't know if they were married, but it was a couple walk out of this place together. Who in the world would take their girlfriend to a place like that? I don't know. But um, they said that, yeah, when they walked out, the guy was like, that show was awesome, that was so good, and da 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 And the girl was kind of just like, a little quiet and stuff and, and after they left like Liz was like do you see this a lot like how what in the world and apparently you know a couple like some women just think like oh well you know if that is something that he enjoys and makes him happy then you know it's fine with me we'll go and, and I'll sit through it and you know it's fine whatever or like they go to spice up their love life or whatever and it's just like oh my gosh <laughs> you know and and then they said um two guys went in and they were giving the bouncers like high fives talking to them like they knew them and Liz was like oh you know those guys and they're like oh yeah they come in all the time they're married <laughs> and uh, the bouncer like said he goes at this point I've seen so much nothing would surprise me of who comes in and out of here it was crazy um, but yeah so kind of near the end of the conversation Liz was like is it okay if I pray with you guys and um, the guy was like really you're gonna pray here at a strip club <laughs> like are you serious you sure you want to do that and Ren was like yeah that's where Jesus did it you know and he's kind of like shocked and um so Liz kind of like reached out her hands to, to hold the um, the big bald bouncer guy. She's like, can I pray with you? And he was just like, yeah. And when he took her hand, she said she will never forget how he kind of had that gentle squeeze of the hand. Like he was saying, I really needed this. But he can't just come out and say that being a bouncer, you know, in front of this other guy that's like joking around or whatever. But she said that squeeze, it was just so genuine and just like, 
thank you. Like, I needed this so much. And that's why he was kind of being more quiet and not really saying much, but clearly listening to what they were saying. And, um, yeah, so she got to, you know, pray with him. And at the end of the conversation, the bouncers were giving him high fives and all this kind of stuff. And um, the one that, you know, was kind of laughing at them, in the end, though, he was like, all right, so um, I guess we'll see you guys around again, huh? But he said it in, in such a way as kind of like, I hope that we see you guys again. Um, in just that, like, I don't know, you could just tell it, something happened. Something that's going on inside their hearts. And because um, obviously they've never had someone, you know, these girls walk up to them and just chat with them about Jesus right there in front of a strip club, pray with them right there in a strip club. And um, it was just crazy awesome um and we were thinking about it because at first when we saw them talking to the bouncers we were praying and we were like oh, you know they're not really talking to the girls and um and then it just like hit me and i was like guys no i was like if they can witness the bouncers if the bouncers get changed and start chasing after jesus they have like such a bigger say because these girls think they can't get out but what if these bouncers gave their life to the lord and they walk into that place and tell these girls, you don't have to do this. I am sorry on behalf of all these men, but you can get out of this. You are worth more than this. And it just hit all three of us as we were praying. We were like, that's it. That is exactly what God wanted to happen. Not for them to talk to the girls first, but to get these bouncers' hearts. Because these bouncers are going to have more of a say and more of a control, basically. Um, so yeah, so we were like on the other side, just like praying the whole time and just, um, so then when they started walking away, we like casually were following behind, you know, and, um, and then just sat and, and chatted and they were sharing with us, you know, what all went down and all this kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, it was just absolutely amazing. So, um, we're, uh, calling ourselves Fab Five and, um, hello. Hi. Oh, I'm just making a video. Oh, hey, so. people! <laughs> this is Agnes. Towel in her hair. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're calling ourselves the Fab Five, and uh, we're going out again on Thursday night, um, either to the same strip club to talk to those bouncers again, or there's another one around the corner that's even a bigger place. So, um, yeah, and just keep that in your prayers for us. That'd be awesome. Um, so concerning dance stuff, um, next Friday we leave for Wales for about a week, so just keep us in prayers for that, for safe travels, and yeah, it's pretty much just go, go, go until July, um, and next thing you know, I'm going to be done and getting ready to head home, which is really weird to think about, but, um, yeah, so, and then next month, um, is my birthday on the 24th and so I posted earlier today you'll see um, changed my kind of GoFundMe thing called 24th day um, basically what I would love to do is there are two companies here that I have the honor of knowing the two um, girls that kind of direct them both companies are focused on sex trafficking issue and just amazing what these girls are trying to do um, they have just two incredible shows and they just travel around trying to um, kind of bring awareness to the issue because there's still so many people that have no idea how relevant it is and um, how it's here like in their own city um, and they're just trying to educate people on what we can do what's going on and how we can um, you know, help to kind of end this and just be more educated on the issue. So, uh, since my time is coming to an end, but I do need some more support to kind of finish things off and pay off my final expenses here with rent and travel and stuff. Um, so I'm trying to reach a goal of 3000 US dollars to raise and so that I can finish off all my final expenses, but then be able to just bless these two companies financially because they're both fairly new. So they don't have a lot of support coming in financially. And um, so I would just love to be able to just bless them financially to cover their, you know, help with their travel expenses, maybe be able to like pay their dancers. Whenever their dancers, they have a show somewhere else 
and they're having to travel and leave, that means that they're not being able to work for those days that they're gone and they're doing this all out of just volunteer and just because they really believe in what this company, you know, these companies are doing and what they stand for. So, um, yeah, so please help me in, uh, before, on the day of my birthday, I would like to have reached $3,000, if not more, which would be incredible, um, so that I can just bless these companies, and then if I have m more than enough money, be able to bless the church that I attend here, and um, yeah, there's just so many people I'd love to be able to bless financially, because they're just doing amazing things here in this city, um, but obviously, I'd need money for rent and food so um i can't work so that kind of puts a damper on how much i can support them so um so yeah as an amazing birthday gift uh if you could just click on the link five bucks you know if everybody donated five dollars i would have enough but obviously not everybody will um, donate so just whatever you can give and um, would just be an incredible birthday gift um, for me to be able to to bless them and um, yeah so love you guys and um, yeah just yeah, just keep London in your prayers there's lots going on around here and um, yeah lots that we're doing and um, so just keep the city in your prayers as all these ministries continue to do the work of God and um, oh uh, the oldest daughter, so Agnes is the middle, um, the oldest daughter, Hannah, who did half of the dance course that I'm doing. She did the first half with me. Um, she left for France today until September. She's working with um, a Christian like camp thing for the summer called Spring Harvest. Um, so she's going to be in charge of five to eight-year-olds all summer long. So pray for her about that, but um, yeah, just keep her in your prayers as she is over there doing that. So yeah, love you guys, and um, I will talk to you all later. Bye!